Hello there and Merry Christmas. I'm so excited you're here today. Today's video is just about spending some time together on this holiday. I do have some new makeup to try and some favorites that I want to put on my face today, but I wanted to do it together and just spend a little bit of time. Maybe you have a few minutes before the festivities begin. Maybe you don't have family in town this season, so it's a little bit quieter for you today. I thought it would be fun to just put on some makeup and chat a little bit. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. It is super early in the morning here and the sun is just coming up so I imagine the light's going to change a little bit as we move forward. We're going to hop right into a full face of makeup and as always all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below so super easy for you to find and with that, let's play with makeup. Today I'm going to be diving in again to the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I used this in a video, gosh, about a week ago. I absolutely loved it. What I want to play with today is a glowy primer to see how it looks underneath. So this is the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. Wait till you see what it looks like. It's really quite fun. It's pretty doggone glowy. So I'm curious to see how it's going to change the foundation and how the foundation looks on my skin. <laughs> look at that. I look a little bit like the Tin Man already. Oh my gosh. How fun is this? Well, we'll see how this works out. I think we're probably gonna do foundation early in the makeup today, just so it doesn't blind you from the glow. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Oh, <laughs> and just an update for you. I talked about the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. I've been putting it on my upper lids, and by golly, <laughs> I'm really kind of hooked on it. Look at the difference in the crinkliness of my upper lids. It really does seem to improve it. So just a little tip there. I'm going to go ahead and put on this eyeshadow primer because I have discoloration on my lids and I really like to cover that up before I go in with eyeshadow. So I have a very smooth canvas to play with. Sometimes when I do my eyeshadow and I don't use a correcting primer on my upper lids, and the eyeshadow is sheer, I can see the veining underneath it, and I don't really think that's a good look. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my under eye corrector. This is from Beauty Pie. This is their under eye genius. Still madly in love with this. I don't know if it's gonna change anytime soon. I do need to find a dupe for this because some of you live in countries where you can't get beauty pies. So I really want to find another one that I think is, if not exactly as good, at least comparable. Of course, you can always use the Pixie under eye corrector, which I really like. It's right here, but you know, the difference between the Pixie under eye corrector and the Beauty Pie is the Beauty Pie has a little bit of luminosity to it, which I really think helps brighten up my under eyes. There's also some kind of magic in this formula where my concealer does not crease. I don't have to set my concealer anymore. I didn't find that with the Pixie under eye corrector, but this is still a good corrector. If you can't get the Beauty Pie, this is a good second choice. And you can see what that's done to really brighten up my under eyes. And I'll tell you what, I have forgotten to put on concealer so many times recently because this makes my under eyes look better. They don't look fabulous, but with just this alone, they look better. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quickly. So tomorrow, I'm starting in on the best of 2021. Gosh, I've been filming for the last several days, having so much fun putting my pics together. And that's going to start tomorrow and go pretty much all through the week, the last week of the month. So I talk about skincare and devices and foundations and concealers and eyeshadow, just the whole deal. And then I have a little bonus video where I talk about what you guys love the most. So that'll be a lot of fun. Brows are done for now. Let's go ahead and dive into the foundation so we can tap down this glow a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. So tell me down in the comments what you're doing today. Are you cooking? Is someone else cooking? Are you traveling? Are you staying home? What is your day going to look like? I really want to know. And if you're watching this after Christmas, let me know what you did. So this foundation is a little squeezy tube, which I actually find kind of handy. 
and I'm just going to dot this over my complexion. I'm really curious to see how this looks with a glowier primer because it's a little bit more matte than I generally wear for a foundation and I do like just a little bit of glow in my foundation so I thought it would be fun to try it out with a glowier primer and see what the finish looks like. So I'm going to just start working that over the skin. This is my Refer number 31 brush. I really love this brush. Just something about it feels so good. This foundation covers up so well. When I used it the first time, it gave such a natural, beautiful coverage to the skin. It really looks skin-like, which was sort of magical. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Now I'm just going to press it in with my sponge. Here's the foundation all blended in. It looks really pretty, but you know what's interesting? It seems like the coverage is not as full with the glowy primer as it was with the other primer when I used it the first time. What I used the first time was the L'Oreal Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer. I really like this primer. It's really a solid primer. In other words, if I had to replace all my makeup tomorrow, I would probably pick this up. Interesting that the finish on the skin is a little bit different. I don't know that it necessarily looks any more glowy, maybe just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Just loving this foundation. It is really, really very, very good and looks very skin-like. I'm gonna go ahead and contour the face. I've fallen in love with this Fenty Beauty Matchstick Contour Stick. Oh my gosh, just love it. My favorite contour up until this point is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour one. Absolutely love this, but you can't find it. It's been sold out for so long. Watch when this goes on. This is so very, very close. It really just about shocked me the first time I used it, how wonderful it looked on the skin and how close it was to the Hollywood contour wand. I'm just gonna use this on my face. I'm gonna use something different underneath my neck. So I'm gonna take my stipple brush and just go ahead and blend that in. Look at how this blends in. Isn't that just oh, so pretty? What it is doing right here, blending in with a nice wash of color that's transparent, that's what the Hollywood contour wand does and why I was so surprised when it performed like this. I just love that. Super easy to blend in, not fussy at all. And look at how pretty that looks on the skin. Isn't that just so gorgeous? This is in the color mocha. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. I love it for my face, but for underneath my chin, I like something that's a little bit more of a gray tone. This again is from Fenty Beauty. It's a cream contour. This is in the color Amber. I love this for contouring underneath my chin and down my neck because it is very, very gray and creates a nice shadow underneath that area and makes my double chin look a little less double. I just bring that down the neck and then blend it in really well. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Essence Mob It Up palette. This is one of their little six pan palettes. I love these palettes, although that's kind of an exaggeration because I've only used one before. I used Taupe It Up in another video, and oh my gosh, that was so very beautiful. The look was terrific, and I wanted to show it in the video today, but I can't find it. I don't know where it went. It is a gorgeous cool tone palette. And one of the neat things about these palettes is they're so inexpensive. They're like three or four dollars. Today I thought we'd use the Mauve palette. I haven't dipped into this even a little bit or swatched it. So it'll be fun to give it a try today. Let's go ahead and take a look at these colors. So this is the top row. So, ooh, gosh, isn't that pretty? Look at that, wow. This one we can hardly see. Let's see if I can get it a little bit more right there. It's just a really, really light, soft mop. And then this is the bottom row. Let's see if I can get the... There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, I knew it was going to be pretty. I didn't know it was going to be that pretty. Ooh, that's gorgeous. 
So that's what we're gonna dip in today. I think it'll be fun. I'm gonna start off with my big fluffy NG503 brush and I'm gonna go right into this really light mauve shade right here. And that's gonna go all over the lid from top to bottom, just in a really light wash. I wanna set down a foundation for the shadows that are going to come and this is gonna help just set the tone on my eyelids. Oh my gosh, that is the prettiest color. These palettes are so very good for very affordable drugstore palettes. I'm so impressed. At least so far I've tried one shadow. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the 202 brush and dip into this transition color right here. That's gonna go right above the natural crease. Just very, very lightly. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look beautiful with that base shade? Sometimes playing with eyeshadow is just the most fun thing you can do. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and dip into this kind of gray tone right here. It's kind of a gray blue. Oh my gosh, it's so very pretty. I'm just getting shadow on the tip of those bristles and I'm gonna lay that right on the outside edge of my eye and bring it down along the lash line and then a little bit up into the crease. I am just knocked out with the beauty of the colors in this palette. They're mauve, but they're kind of a muted, muddy mauve. So very pretty. Down along the lash line and up into the crease. Just really want to deepen that outside corner of the eye where the emphasis will be. Now back in with that big fluffy brush and just blend that out. I am so impressed with these shadows. They're really looking good on the lids and they're blending out beautifully. Now I'm going to dip my finger into this light mauve shimmer shade right here and that's gonna go on the movable lid. I'm gonna put that along the whole lid. I'm not gonna cover up that dark area towards the outside corner. I wanna keep the emphasis there. So just tap that on. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that color is. I hope you can see that in the camera. It is so very pretty. It's not offering any kind of glitter fallout, which I appreciate. Mmm, gosh, I think that's so pretty. Back in with the big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that edge out. So it's a real smooth transition into that crease area. For concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the Dior Forever Skin Correct. Love this concealer. <laughs> it is so hydrating. Covers up all my little dark circles. Just really love it. And I'm gonna get that right up into the corner of my eye there to kind of counteract that dark shadowing I get. And press it in with my sponge. And then this is also an opportunity to clean up any eyeshadow that may have come down a little bit too far. So I can really clean that up with that concealer. For blush today, I'm gonna to be using one of my all-time favorite blushes. This is also fairly new. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm sure you've seen this a gazillion times before. It is so popular. I didn't pick it up for a long time because I thought the Luminoso from Milani was a dupe and I thought, why do I need to buy the more expensive one? Well, guess what? I tried it, fell in love with it. It's very different than the Luminoso, so I'm not sure how that got started. But it just puts the most beautiful, magical voodoo glow on the skin. It's just gorgeous. I mean, how pretty is that? <laughs> Mm. Now I'm going to take my sponge and just really press that into the skin. And I really want to focus around the edges so that it blends in beautifully. I'm really excited about the highlighter today. This is from Fenty Beauty as well. I didn't realize I had so much Fenty Beauty today. I really do love her products so much. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. Isn't that just so very pretty? This compact is gorgeous, has a mirror, and it has the two highlighters here. And then this one, highlight. Are they both highlights? I don't know, what do you think? I think I'm gonna dip into this lighter one here today. Very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So that's it right there, wow. <laughs> 
almost no pink shift on my hand. Let's see what it looks like on the cheeks. A little bit on my brush right here. Tap it off and then... Mm. Wow. That's pretty. So very, very glowy, very pretty. A little bit of a pink shift, not a whole lot. I like that one a lot. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just blend that in. I'm going to finish off the complexion with the Milani Prep Set and Glow. You guys, I have tragic news. They have discontinued this. I am not kidding you. One of you gals contacted me, sent me an email, and said she talked to customer service. They've discontinued this. I can't even believe it. I love this product. If you're not familiar with this, this is a powder that I use to set my makeup, and it puts the most lovely, soft, subtle, diffusing glow on the skin. It's just gorgeous. I have no idea why they're discontinuing this. However, maybe they're reformulating it. <laughs> and they're gonna come out with another one. In the meantime, I'm gonna be looking for a dupe for this. Wish me luck. I already have a few products that I think might be close. I don't think I've found anything drugstore yet, but we'll move forward and see what I can find. I'm gonna take a tiny little detail brush and dip it into this highlight color right here and just put that right on the inside corner of my eye. Charlotte Tilbury. I've done my mascara and liner. Today I used the L'Oreal Lay Liner. <laughs> no surprise there. This is in the color Noir Cashmere and I lined my upper lid and tight lined with this. And for mascara, I used the Lancome Seals Booster. This is a lash primer that I've been testing and trying. I really wanna see if I like it better than my L'Oreal Voluminous, which I love. And I used the Superhero Mascara. I have used this a few times. This is one of the mascaras that I picked up during the sale season and I've been testing and trying it. You know, I like it. I can't say that I like it more than my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I really can't, but I'm gonna keep using it and I'll give you guys a full report soon. So here are what the lashes look like. This is two coats with the Superhero. Nice, I just can't say it's better than the Maybelline. For lips today, I'm using the NYX pencil in the color Con, and this is a Milani lipstick. This is one of their more glossy formulas in the color Lingerie. And you can see them right here. Of course, the lip liner here and the lipstick here. So creamy. Oh my gosh, these feel so good on the lips. So here we have the lip color. Here we have the finished look. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I'll have to say, I loved just about everything about today's look. The Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, I love this foundation. It looks skin-like. It's a little bit more matte than the Dior Forever Skin Glow, which is still my number one foundation but a very beautiful look on the skin. I can't say that I don't think the Pixi by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer really helped it out. It seemed to really kind of mess with the coverage, so I don't know that this did what I wanted it to do, which was to give it just a little bit more glow. So far for me, the best primer for this foundation is the L'Oreal H Perfect Blurring Face Primer. Again, this is just a really solid primer. The NARS Orgasm Blush, I spent so much time not owning this. <laughs> And I wish I would have bought it sooner. This is a really good blush. This one is the travel size. I think it's around $20. I'm not even sure that the full size is available right now. This is plenty for me. So really loving the Orgasm Blush from NARS. The Fenty Beauty Matchstick Contour. Love this. This is in the color Mocha. I think it puts just the most beautiful glow on the skin. Really a fan of this one. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. This is in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. I really like this little highlighter. What is attractive to me is the colors in this. They're just a little bit different. So it's a way to mix up the highlight on your face from just an icy or a gold glow. Enjoyed working with this today. And can we give it up for the Mobbit palette from Essence? I'll tell you what. Now I've tried two palettes in this six pan palette series. 
love them both. The fact that these are drugstore priced and very, very affordable drugstore price, I think they're like three or four dollars, such a deal for beautiful shadows. They went on gloriously. They blended out like a dream. I think it looks wonderful on the eyes. Really a fan of these little six pan palettes. This is Mavit. Loving this lipstick from Milani. This seems like a dupe to me for the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. You know how they're just really shiny and really, really glossy. Same type of formula here. Feels very, very hydrating on the skin. A little bit more sheer of a color, but I think it looks really pretty on the lips. I had a great time putting this look together. I hope you found it fun as well. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for spending some of your holiday time with me. That just means the world to me. You are a gift and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Merry Christmas and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.